everyone, today we're going to do a very different video. Now last week I did a video about Flywings 2018 which is a terrible flight simulator that hasn't been updated since 2018. So now we're going to look at the not very bad flight simulator that has been said to be the one of the worst flight simulator but it is actually not so not so bad. So let's jump right into it. Let's visit the app store so we should download it first because I have not installed it. So this is the app we were looking for. So let's download it. I did a video about this on top 3 good flight simulators 2 years ago. While the app is downloading, let's look at the reviews below. Ever wondered what it feels like to pilot legendary jet airliners? In Flight Sim 2018, you have a global open world map to explore with an amazing selection of realistic airplanes. Enjoy the fully immersive experience provided by awesome flight controls, realistic interiors, and sound effects, full day, night, cycle, and challenging weather scenarios. In this flight simulator, you can fly across the globe between a large selection of real cities and airports. Prove yourself as the best pilot when faced with challenging landings. So the reviews are overall not actually bad, that most of them are from 1 or over 2 years ago. So the last update was from 2 years ago also and they abandoned it forever. So they will concentrate on making car games. So if you look below, they have developed a lot of car games or whatever what I have to call them. The fact is I have played a lot of these games when I was a kid back in 2013. The download may take a lot while so let's wait. Alright, the download is done so let's open it. So the app requests a permission to use a camera so you have to select it this allows so why not. We greeted with the beautiful load screen and then the main menu. So the menu design looks outdated though. They still have a button to follow their account on Google Plus which was shut down a year ago. The music is pretty loud though and you can even turn it off on the menu. I just hope that the music is not copyrighted. So let's select the new game button and select my hometown which is New York. So why not? And then we started with a small turboprop airliner. Remember that? And they even put an ad on the top so they can even make more money. Choose control tripe simulation mode and the tilt mode. Actually, that's not how you call the plane driving. It's actually a taxi. Eing to the mission select area. Here we can select jobs or a destination to the airport. So let's select Chicago because it is the shortest one. So the game advises us to wear seat belts before taxiing to the runway. By the looks of the hood, I like it because it looks so aesthetic and simple. But the problem is it is too simple that they are that it lacks any other features. And they have a wide variety of camera selection too. And the thing is there are no taxi lines on this. So in some cases of heavy weather conditions, how you can see it? There are even no runway markers on it and there is no option to look at the map. Then now let's take off. Now we're rolling down the runway. In order to use your rudder, you have to tilt your device and not those buttons. Basically, the takeoff speed of this plane is 90 knots. That's an average takeoff speed of Twin Otter, which is pretty weird. The airport design looks definitely weird as well. And at the cockpit view, there are no working instruments. To be fair, the graphics are, are really cool. And they have even 3D buildings and not just the airports. But that's not actually how Chicago looks like in real life. The size of the entire city is literally the size of the village. 
I think they make the CT small to keep the game file size small for the lower end devices. As I have said earlier, there is no autopilot option. I can't imagine it using when you are going for a long haul flight. So the thing is, the game doesn't let you calibrate your device when you're using tilt control mode. In real life, there is no mountainous terrain in New York region, which is not supposed to look like that in real life. In this selection, the game wants us to choose the path mode. For some reason, the skip landing option exists. This game is made for kids, I guess. And then the landing pad shows that we should descend now, but I can't. I literally put my phone down as possible, but there is no option that calibrate this device. So I have an idea. We have to decrease the throttle, so we should descend anytime to make a final approach. It looks like we're too high to make a final approach to land on the airport. And the circles disappeared for no reason and it reappears in front of us. So I have seen something weird on this head-up display. The green reticle doesn't function to where the aircraft go there and it's just made for cosmetic that is pretty useless and helpless. So I don't know why they even added it. Sounds reasonable. So we're making a final approach and we're about to land. Those GPS callouts are sound so weird. No other aircraft had sound anything like that. But anyway, let's land. Smoothly. The thing I land so hard is because of the game physics. Now, all we need to do is to taxi to the airport ramp to complete the mission. As there are no runway markings and taxi lines on the pavement, we don't know which is the runway or the taxi area when it is nighttime or bad weather. Did they forget it or ignored it? So we completed our task. That's the whole point of this game. And oh, we get a terrible ad now. But a really bad and a fake one. Now with the task is done, let's go to the home menu. This game features multiplayer too for free. Now let's type my player name. Let's try EE. -E. Unfortunately, there are no rooms to join the multiplayer. Pretty much to say that this game is dead. You can't create your own room be probably because no one is playing this game. At my top 3 good flight simulators video, this what was the good multiplayer looks like in this game. So the last thing in this game is that there are wide variety of section of planes like Fokker 50, the Cessna, Citation Jet, the CRJ, I don't know what I would call this, the Embraer, the, the Avanti, or some kind of weird Airbus R250 plane, a Spitfire, and a 777, but there is still a lot more the B-29 Super Fortress, the 747, the A380, and A A300, I don't know. But let me know in the comment section below which what plane is this? Some kind of Russian Super and a Concorde, an Antonov. Oh yeah, it's a it's an MIG, a Eurofighter. And a C-17, sorry for that notification. It's a C-17 Globemaster. And SR Blackbird. A B-52 Super Starter Fortress. An Airbus Beluga. And even had the Shuttle Carrier. And an Air Force One. A B-2 Spirit? I don't know. They even had a Strato launcher, an F-22 Raptor, a Ju-52 Junkers, and that's all. I don't know this plane exists in real life. And so, what is my thoughts of this game? Well, in overall, this game is not too bad and not too great at the same time.
still lacks most features compared to modern and advanced mobile flight simulators like Infinite Flight. What's good about this game is that they have a wide variety of planes and a huge world map. The sad thing is that they had closed developing this game and they will no longer updating it so they will focus on developing car games. Thank you.